Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you today? Uh, all is good. Thank you. All right. What about you? Nice to hear <laughs> that you had a good day. Uh, it was okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not Tidal. So tidal. Uh, yes, but at least um, tomorrow is Friday. And the bad thing is that I was, oh, but fortunately today is Friday. But then, no, it's not Friday. <laughs> <The> motivation. <laughs> yes. I was thinking, oh, today is Friday, but no. <laughs> I don't know. I have my mind said that it was Friday today. <laughs> so, uh -huh, good, good. <laughs> I was disappointed every time that I did, I remember. No, it's not Friday yet. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. But tomorrow, yes. <laughs> yeah, and we will have at least um, that kind of break. Then the, we're going to be able to sleep more or go to bed earlier. So yeah. that's fine. What plan do you have for the vacation, teacher? Um, I have no plans. Uh, or probably I'm going to go to the hair salon, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, Good. because, yeah, I finished uh, my shift kind of early at 4.20. So okay. I, I can get to the hair salon on, on a decent time. So so get something for me, maybe my nails or my hair done. <laughs> I want to pamper myself. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, that's probably. But no specific plans right now, no. <laughs> what about you? Any plans? Uh, clean my house, clean the roof. Clean the stuff. Uh, I help my wife to clean my whole house. Yeah. Oh, even nice that to, you're going to help to, her. Yes, or uh, even to to paint my house. Oh, getting ready for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And the rest of you, what plans do you have for these vacations? No plans? Good evening. No teacher, no plans. <laughs> no plans, Heidi. In the, in the house, in the cleaning. Ah, but yeah, that helps also to clean the house because yeah, sometimes we are working and just focusing on working and we're leaving the, some things behind about the house and that is necessary to clean up from time to time. Uh, I was cleaning my... Uh, my drawers and I found a lot of a lot of uh, <laughs> bills, old bills. And so I throw them away because <laughs> yeah, like I'm um, just calling rats to eat. <laughs> I don't Those know what papers. happens when the teacher. I don't know, but happens when you you buy a lot of things, uh, you accumulate a lot of bills, and your put on your wallet is a. Uh, a lot of mess in my wallet. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Uh, or or I, just, I just take the bills and I put them in a drawer. So <laughs> oh I open God. the drawer and it's like maybe a rat is going to jump <laughs> from there. <laughs> so I've been cleaning and yeah, that helps as well. <laughs> okay, so. And sometimes it's better not to plan too much because the things that are not planned sometimes are better. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, before the class, I sent the presentation uh, for today. We are going to start working on that. And on uh, weekend, I'm going to add more slides to this presentation. Uh, so we're going to start the section number four. <clears throat> okay, so. Good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. The section four, it says the biggest and the best. So if you're guided by the topic, the biggest <laughs> and the best, what comes to your mind? What's going to be the topic? The best, yes, the biggest. we are going to uh, huh? the biggest 
and the best. El, el más grande y el mejor. El más grande. Uh, are they comparatives? Are they superlatives? Uh, superlative? Yes, superlative. So we are going to review comparatives because yes, in the previous module we studied comparatives. So we're going to make a short review about comparatives. And we are also going to study superlatives. What is the difference with comparatives and superlatives? Uh, comparative is when I compare two things, to people, to person, and the, B, um, the superlative is when I compare uh, over the other, a lot of people, a lot of things, it's more plural, I think. That is correct. When you compare, it's uh, between two things. Uh, it can be um, people also. So for example, if you compare two things, like for example, a brand, a cell phone brand. So we can compare Samsung and iPhone, right? Mm -hmm. We are comparing two cell phone brands. Eso es una comparación entre dos cosas. Digo, uh, which one is better, Samsung or iPhone? Okay, y ya decimos, ah, el, el, y empezamos a comparar los dos. But, ¿cuántas marcas de celular hay? Can you mention them? Yeah. Samsung, Huawei. iPhone. Apple, Huawei, Galaxy, uh, Apple. LG, Black Motorola, mm -hmm. Motorola, yes. Apple teacher. Aha, uh -huh, the iPhone, yes. Eh, Alcatel. Alcatel, Xiaomi. Wow, it's the, so de todo ese grupo, ¿cuál será el mejor? So that is a superlative. En ese caso tendríamos que hacer un superlativo. De, de todo ese grupo, ¿cuál es el mejor? So that is a superlative. We compare one uh, between or among a group of various things and we take the, the, the best one in this case, right? That we're talking about which one is the best. Now, uh, the section number four starts with vocabulary about geography. Okay, and we have some vocabulary here about that. We have beach, yeah. desert, forest, hill, island, lake, lake. mountain, Ocean, ocean, river, river valley, valley, volcano, volcano waterfall. waterfall. Is there any new word here? Uh, hill and waterfall. Okay, uh, hill is como un cerro. Oh. Colina, teacher. Una colina, y es una ah, colina. Yeah. Aquí le dejamos cerro. Cerro. <laughs> es lo, yeah. no, eh, no, es serio. What happened, teacher? Yes. Yeah. Es I coloquial. <laughs> yeah, I am Indian. <laughs> es autóctono. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ay, no, qué terrible. Ay, me da la India. No, es... <laughs> No, en serio, estoy hablando en serio. ¿Es eso? ¿Un, un cerro? Es... Sí. ¿Y Gil? Una colina. Una colina, colina es un cerro, es lo mismo. Yes, es? Que sé. es lo mismo, yeah. solo que cerro es como autóctona la palabra. <risa> ok, agregaré colina a mi vocabulario. Ok, so, entonces Gil sería colina. Uh -huh. Y waterfall, el waterfall es una cascada. Cascada. Ya, yeah, cascada. Waterfall. Eh, ¿Algo otro para hablar nuevo o solo serían esas dos? What is the meaning of valley? Eh, valley es un valle. 
Thank you. Teacher, but Bali is a community. It's a little community. Yes, I, I, son habitados. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, let's uh, see. What other geography words can you think of? Oh my god. Oh, river is there. I was going to say river, but it's there. Uh huh. Estero. How do you say estero? You got lake or uh, lagoon? Could be. Lagoon is not here. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Lagoon. Any other that may come to your mind? If we think in famous examples for each item in part eight, what would be a famous beach for you? Can you mention a famous beach? Don't. Tunco, Tunco Beach. Ah, oh, the Tunco, the Tunco Beach. Yes, it's the, the it's famous. Uh, a famous um, desert. Oh my the Sahara. Sahara. The Sahara. Yes. Okay. A uh, famous forest. Uh, Amazon. The La China. Okay. The Amazon. Impossible <laughs> forest. Okay. <laughs> In El Salvador. <laughs> the, okay. Very good. Now, a hill? Ah, uh, Baba's Hill. Okay, the Baba's Hill. Me están haciendo burling. Okay, a uh, famous island? But the No, 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 I know, no, no. Iceland, Conejo. Oh, Conejo. Rabbit Island. Oh, really? La, del Conejo? ¿Dónde yes. es eso? Yes. El de Fonseca. Lime de Frontera, Honduras. Ok. Por la que fue el, el pleito de hace unos años mismo. Los bolsones, teacher. Los bolsones. Ah, los bolsones. Oh, yeah, yeah. I los need alpina, to go there. Yes, we're going to visit it. <laughs> ok, now a famous lake. What a peck lake. Oh, the Peque 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 Lake. Very good. A famous mountain here in Salvador. Um, mountain. Isla Matepec. Mm. It's volcano. Yeah, that's a volcano. Uh -huh. Or the Cerro de San Jacinto también, dicho. Okay, very good. Is it very high? Cerro Verde. Okay. A uh, famous ocean? Pacific. Pacific. Okay, a uh, famous Pacific. river? Lempa River. Lempa. Mississippi. El Rio Bravo, El Rio Mississippi. Okay. Mississippi Vámonos River. de mojado. River. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a uh, famous valley. San Andres Valley. Okay, San Andres Valley. Now, a uh, famous volcano. El volcán de San Salvador. San Salvador. Uh, San Vicente. Santa Ana. San Ixalco. San Miguel. Ana. Okay, now a famous waterfall. Oh my God. Niagara, what a for Niagara, Niagara. The Niagara's waterfall. Okay. Yes. Alegría. Alegría's waterfall. Ah, las lagunas, como waterfall es laguna, ¿verdad? No, okay. that is. Cascadas. 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 Ah, cascadas, perdón. Las cascadas de Santo Domingo aquí en El Salvador. Where is that? Is that in Suchitoto? En Sonsonate. Ah, okay. All right, good to know. Now, 
We have a conversation here and we're gonna practice that one. We're going to um, listen to the conversation. Let me go and share in the platform. But I can use this program rather than that. Okay, can you see my screen? Yeah, teacher. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so here is the conversation. We're going to listen, then discuss vocabulary, and after that, we're going to practice. The biggest and the best. Page 93, exercise two, conversation. Which is larger? Part A, listen and practice. Here's an interesting geography quiz. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know. Canada is larger than China. Okay. Next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm. I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay. One more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay. Questions about vocabulary? What does mean quiz? Quiz es como un examen corto. Lo que le conocemos como laboratorio, ¿verdad? Un examen mm -hmm. corto, a quiz. Okay, thank you. And what is the meaning of longest? El más largo. El... el... Longer. Es que vi dos que me parecen que son las mismas. La, larger, ¿qué significa? Si longer significa el más largo, larger, ¿qué sería? Comparativo, siempre. Comparativo. Siempre como de más, más grande o más largo. Ajá, es que larger es comparando dos. Mm -hmm. Y the largest es el más largo de todos. Ya comparando de un grupo, ese es un superlativo de la misma palabra. Okay. Uh -huh. Eso oh, es lo que teacher. vamos a estar practicando. Dígame. Cuando usamos los superlativos, tiene reglas igual que el comparativo. That is cuando, correct. Son, cuando son más de tres, ¿verdad? Sílabas. Ya no le agregamos ese T, me recuerdo, sino que se le agrega the most. ¿Ya? Yeah? Uh -huh. Yes, it has its rules. Tiene, ru tiene reglas y vamos a repasar y vamos a practicar con ambos. Comparatives okay. and superlatives. Ok. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Uh, what is the meaning hard? When say here's a hard one. Here's a hard one. Aquí está una difícil, una dura, dura, difícil. Uh, Hard one. Okay. I understand. Thank you. Okay, so we have this exercise. It says, listen to the rest of the conversation. How many questions did Wendy get right? So we're going to listen and uh, check how many questions did she get right? Page 93, exercise 2, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How many questions did Wendy get right? So let's see how you did on this quiz. The first question, which is larger, China or Canada? You said... Canada. And you're right. Both are large, but Canada is larger. Next, what's the longest river in the Americas? You said the Mississippi. Sorry, no. It's the Amazon. Oh, of course. This next question I didn't know. 
Monaco is more crowded than Singapore. So I got it right? I just guessed. And finally, you said that Bogota is the highest capital city in South America. Yeah, I remember hearing that somewhere. Sorry, Wendy, but you're wrong. La Paz in Bolivia is the highest. Really? Wow, I guess I didn't do so well. Too right, but too wrong. So, how I many right answers? Only one. Four. The first. Four answers. Uh, two correct. Two. Two. Four. Yes. Two correct. two correct answers. Yes, two. Oh. Okay, now to practice this, uh, we're going to do it first in group. I'm going to play the recording and stop. After each participation, I'm going to stop the recording so you can be able to repeat. So first listen and then repeat. After that, I'm going to create the breakout rooms for you to practice. Okay. Unit 14, the biggest and the best. Page 93, Exercise 2, Conversation. Which is larger? Part A, Listen and Practice. Here's an interesting geography quiz. Here is an interesting, Here's Here's an interesting, interesting geography, geography quiz. quiz. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? Sure. 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 Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know. Canada is larger than China. I know. I know. Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Okay, okay. next. Yes. What's the longest, longest, longest river, river in the Americas? America. America. Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Hmm, I think mm, it's the Mississippi. 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 Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz? Quito or Bogota? Okay. Okay, one more. Which South American American capital capital city is the highest? Quito or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Oh, that's easy. 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 Oh, I'm going to create the groups for you to practice. I have 16. Okay, there you go.
Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South America capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay, next peer. Okay. Regina y Alfredo. 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 No está Alfredo. Quizá no está. Si no, si se comienza este, yo soy Wendy. Sí, Alfredo está solo como oyente ahorita, tiene problemitas con el audio. Ah, ok. Ahí en mayo. Yo inicio. Eh. Ok. Oh, here's a interesante geografía. Oh. I love a geography. Ask me the questions. Sure, first question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know. Canada is larger than China. China. Okay, next, what's the longer river in the America? Mm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's hard one. Which country is more forward? Monaco, Singapore. I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. We show America capital city in the Haitian, La Paz, Quito, or Bogota. Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay. Ya continuamos. Este, ahora yo. Puedo iniciar. Yo inicio yo y que me responda Ana. Yo soy Ana. Y ah, me okay. responda Virginia. Ok. No, respondo yo entonces. Sí. Ok. Here's an interesting geographic quiz. Oh, I love geographics. Ask the question. Sure. First question. Which country is lar larger? China or Canada? I know Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Mm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. A hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more covered. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Bogota. Oh, that is it. Bogota is the highest. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am Mike again. Okay. Here's an interesting geography quiz. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the question. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know Canada is larger than China. Okay. Next. What's the largest river in the Americas? Mm, I think it's the, the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South America capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay. Who is my now? Mm. 
Virginia. Hola. Thirty seconds. Okay, it's time to go back to the main section. See you there. Okay, we're still missing two. Okay, so as you could see in this uh, conversation, let me share again. Okay, as you see in this, um, there is a clear example of what our classmate was asking. So about larger and longest, okay. Uh, here we can see which country is larger. Okay, aquí estamos usando larger. Porque estamos comparando dos, en este caso países, China or Canada. Entonces por eso usamos larger porque estamos usando un comparativo. Estamos comparando dos cosas, en este caso países. Por eso dice larger. Y abajito ven longest. Significa lo mismo. Solo que aquí está funcionando como un superlativo. Porque está hablando, what's the longest river in America? ¿Cuál de todos los ríos que hay es el más largo? Eso ya ese es un superlativo. Y el, por eso el, ahí de la conversación. Comparison with adjectives. The rules. As I told you, uh, we were going to review. Este es un repaso on how to form adjectives, okay? Uh, with comparatives. Uh, Para hacer comparaciones, para comparar, siempre utilizamos adjetivos. También para hacer, uh, para los superlativos, nos estamos eh, apoyando de adjetivos. ¿Cómo hacer un comparative? Eh, en el módulo pasado estábamos viendo adjectives with one syllable. Si el adjetivo tiene una sílaba, le vamos a agregar er. O solo la r y después dan. Por ejemplo, tenemos el adjetivo cold and the adjective nice. Ahí están los dos adjetivos, cold and nice. Para comparar usando cold o nice, adjetivos de una sílaba, decimos que vamos a agregar er o una r y luego la palabra dan. El adjetivo cold. Si se fijan acá, le agregamos er y luego el dan. Cold. Changes to colder than nice. Solo le agregamos la R. Pues termina en ella. No, no podemos agregarle otra E ahí y ponerle el R. Nicer than. Y tenemos también ejemplos utilizando. So we have in Canada, winter is colder than summer. We are comparing the, the two seasons, right? Winter and, and summer. Now with nicer than chocolate ice cream is nicer than strawberry adjective. Now, if we have adjective with two or more syllables, en este caso, cuando los adjetivos tienen dos o más sílabas, 
no le agregamos el ER o la R. Solo agregamos more al principio, luego colocamos el adjetivo y luego colocamos el dan. Por ejemplo, veamos el adjetivo boring. ¿Cuántas sílabas escuchan? Boring. Two syllables. Two syllables. Now, expensive. Three syllables. Three syllables. Three syllables. Ajá, expensive. So, si son adjetivos con dos o más sílabas, descartamos la regla esta que acabamos de ver. Entonces, en este caso, el adjetivo no lo modificamos. Solo le agregamos more al principio y luego del adjetivo, del adjetivo ponemos done. Por ejemplo, boring. More, boring, done. Expensive. More, expensive, done. And we have two examples here. I think golf is more boring than baseball. This restaurant is more expensive than that restaurant. Now, if the adjective with two syllables end in Y, we're going to change Y to I and add ER done. Si el adjetivo con dos sílabas, por ejemplo, early, Happy. Son adjetivos de dos sílabas que terminan en Y. En este caso, vamos a cambiar esa Y por Y latina. Vamos a agregar ER y luego el DAN. Earlier than. He arrived at the school earlier than I did. Happier. Happier than. Jones looks happier than David. Now, adjectives that end with a single vowel and a consonant, we double the final letter before adding done. Si los adjetivos terminan en una eh, so single vowel and consonant, entonces se duplica la última letra, en este caso consonante, y agregamos el done. Por ejemplo, big, bigger than, hot, hotter than. WDT. Y acuérdense que estas son reglas para regular adjectives, pero también tenemos lo que se llaman irregular adjectives. Que estos irregulares no siguen estas reglas de agregar ER y todo eso. Y tenemos unos ejemplos acá. Irregular comparative adjectives. Por ejemplo, good. Para good no decimos gooder than. Ni more good than. No entre en esas reglas. Entonces, good cambia a better. Better than. Tenemos word, eh, bad. No decimos better ni more bad than. So we say worse than. Far, it changes to farther than or further than. De cualquiera de esas dos formas. Eh, are we clear so far? I have a question, Miss. Yes. What um, what are all the the adjectives? Uh, <clears throat> they are all words, or they are a specific words. Son palabras que describan a un nombre. Por ejemplo, eh, ¿cómo le digo un nombre? Usted sabe que es un noun. Un noun es cualquier cosa. Libro, computadora, botella, ventilador, esos son nouns. Ahora, utilizamos adjetivos para describirlos. ¿Ok? Eh, por ejemplo, vemos eh, esta botella. Es que me cae mal que nos pongan eso background. Ok. So, you see this bottle? Yeah. Yes. Ajá, entonces, es una botella, botella. Pero si decimos la palabra botella, cualquier cosa se viene a la mente. Necesito un adjetivo para describirla y que la haga especial. Ese adjetivo... This bottle is pretty. Pretty. Puede referirse al tamaño. Big. Big. Eso, pretty es adjetivo. Big es adjetivo. O oh, yellow bar. Ok. Un color puede ser, ajá, un adjetivo. Then, 
Entonces nosotros podemos aplicar estas reglas que estamos viendo aquí a cualquier palabra que nos describa alguna cosa, que estemos este, describiendo algo, lo podemos aplicar. Exacto. Siempre y cuando sea entre dos, entre dos cosas o entre una y la comparamos con un montón. Ajá, por ejemplo aquí que tengo, tengo dos lapiceros, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh -huh. Entonces, los puedo comparar. Eh, puedo decir que uno es más sofisticado, ¿verdad? Sophisticate. ¿En qué regla cae la, el adjetivo sophisticate? More sophisticated than. Ajá, more sophisticated, more sophisticated than. than. Yeah. So, y los podemos ver. The gray pen is more, more sophisticated, sophisticated than the yeah. yellow white. pen. Yellow. Or white. Mm -hmm. Ok, I understand. Thank you. Very good. Ahora, acuérdense, vamos para los superlativos, comparamos entre un montón de cosas, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. No solo dos. Eso, so, para superlativos también tenemos mm -hmm. reglas, que son las que tenemos acá. Now, eh, adjectives with one syllable. Si el adjetivo tiene una sílaba, vamos a agregar T-H-E, the, ¿verdad? Luego, E-S-T o solamente S-T. Por ejemplo, cold. The coldest. Le agregamos D al principio del adjective y luego en el adjective agregamos esto, E-S-T, the coldest. Aquí nos dice el ejemplo, January is often the coldest winter month. ¿Cuántos meses componen el invierno? Pueden ser tres, cuatro. Mm -hmm. De todos esos, January, el mes de enero, es el más helado de todos esos. Ok, so the coldest. Now, uh, nice is another example of an adjective with one syllable. So we say the nicest. Ahí solo le agregamos st porque ya termina en, en, en esta vocal y so no, es, me, no tiene sentido ponerle otra est. Entonces solo agregamos st y nos queda she is the nicest person I know. Conozco a muchas personas y de todas esas ella es la, la, la más, eh, la mejor, la más buena, the nicest person I know. La más genial. La más genial, ok. Adjectives with two or more syllables, cuando son de dos o más sílabas, ya no le agregamos ese est o st, sino que le ponemos el the. Most. Luego, ajá. Uh -huh. Most, y luego el adjetivo tal cual, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, tenemos boring. Acuérdense que ya dijimos que boring tiene ¿cuántas sílabas? Two syllables. Two, Two syllables. Entonces, solo le vamos a agregar the most. Y dejamos el boring así, tal cual, boring. The most boring. It's the most boring movie at the cinema. ¿Ok? Expensive. Mismo tiene tres sílabas, entonces solo decimos the most expensive. Ok. We ate the most at the most expensive restaurant in town. Hay muchos restaurantes, pero ¿en cuál comimos? En el más caro de todos esos. Eh, adjective with two syllables. That ending Y, we're going to change to I and add D. Por ejemplo, early. El adjetivo early termina en Y. A esto le vamos a agregar el D y le vamos a agregar, le vamos a quitar la Y, la cambiamos por Y latina y agregamos ST, the earliest. The earliest, he was the earliest person to arrive. Tenemos otro adjetivo con, uh, eh, otro ejemplo con el adjetivo happy, the happiest. It's the happiest person, the happiest time in my life. Now, adjectives that end in a vowel and a consonant, double the final letter before adding D plus 
E S T. For example, big. We double the 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 G. The biggest. Russia is the biggest country in the world. Now, hot. The hottest. August is usually the hottest summer month. Y también en esto hay adjetivos que son irregulares. Quiere decir que no siguen estas reglas. Good, por ejemplo, cambia a the best. Bad, the worst. Far, the farthest or the furthest. Y esto es solo como para que vayan comprendiendo las reglas, pero pues yo sé que no se las van a aprender ahorita, sino que esas se van aprendiendo con la práctica. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta acá? O sea que yo he escuchado, teacher, uh, por ejemplo, con el, con el comparativo de bad o con el superlativo. Worst o worst. Yo a veces escucho y logro captar que la gente quiere decir, por ejemplo, ah, lo malo es esto de algo que están hablando, pero lo peor. Entonces lo utilizan en forma inadecuada porque tienen que comparar con alguien más o con algo más, en el caso de worst, o utilizar worst como comparándolo con un montón, ¿no? como lo explica aquí la regla, ¿no? Lo Ajá. utilizan mal. Ajá, y en algunos casos, ¿verdad? Puede ser que yo diga, eh, ¿qué le digo? Ah, ok, ¿qué día fue ayer? Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday was worse than Thursday. Ah, okay. ya, yeah. ya. Yeah. Ahí estoy comparando esos dos días, pero ayer fue peor que ahora. Yes, yesterday was worse than the... Ahora, ¿cuál fue el peor día? Monday was the worst day of the week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, estamos hablando siempre de días, pero si voy a comparar dos, uso worse. Si voy a comparar la semana entera, the worst. Y la gente lo y utiliza... Y si voy a escoger el peor de, de entre la semana. Mm -hmm. He escuchado que lo utilizan como palabra así, sola, teacher. Entonces está mal estructurado cuando lo dicen. Ajá, uh -huh. sí, dependerá, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si digo, uh, the worst thing of being waiting for something is that you're wasting time, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Puede haber muchos aspectos malos de estar esperando que algo suceda, ¿verdad? Pero lo peor de todo eso es que estamos perdiendo tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces es como lo peor. Ah, okay. Entonces, a veces el contexto ya está como, como dibujado, ¿verdad? Exacto, o, o lo exacto. podemos mentalizar. Uh -huh. Exacto. Any other question, comment? So, here we have some examples in this chart. Y se me olvidó. Ok, sí, estamos grabando y todavía tenemos tiempo. <laughs> So, uh, ya sé que nos pican los piecitos por irnos de vacaciones, ¿verdad? Entonces, he estado pendiente de que el recording esté al día. So, comparison with adjectives, aquí tenemos um, comparativos con adjetivos. Aquí estamos, which country is larger? Esto es sacado de la conversación, ¿se acuerdan? Which country is larger? Aquí estamos comparando, Canada or China? Ah, Canada is larger than China. Now, this is a superlative. Which city has the largest population? Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? So it's more than two. Son más de dos, entonces están usando el superlative. Uh, aquí pueden eh, ver cómo se van eh, haciendo los cambios del adjetivo long. En comparative vamos a decir longer. Y acuérdense que agregamos el dan, ¿verdad? Um, y el superlative, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Y aquí pueden ver cómo se aplicó el cambio, ¿verdad? De la Y a I latina más ER. Y para superlativo se cambió siempre la Y por I latina y se agregó EST. Now we got with big, comparative, bigger, superlative, the biggest. 
famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. And those are irregulars. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Now, questions or we go and practice? What what does was it what does the meaning try? Dry, seco. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pero no la de, de amor que le dicen los, las novias a uno. Es seco. No, Atillo. Seco es de ah, no, no suelo. No. <risa> es seco de no, de no, no mojado. <risa> no paco. Ok. Ah, sí, sí, <risa> sí. Está bien la aclaración. Seco, <risa> meaning lo contrario de mojado. <risa> Es coloquial, seco. Ajá. Seco, no, no el seco, olas, no. Ok, so, now, in this exercise, uh, we're going to complete um, this with, uh, from one to four with comparatives and from five to eight with superlatives. Aquí está fácil porque ya nos está diciendo que de la uno a la cuatro vamos a usar comparatives and from five to eight superlatives. So okay. you can do it in your notebook. I'll give you time for you to complete the exercise.
Teacher, what is the meaning to dip? Yes. Profundo. Thank you. Okay. Finished? Finished. Yes, finished. Okay, we're going to check your answers. Let me go here. Okay, I'm going to share my screen for you to check the answers. Give me one second. Okay, can you see that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so. I think I can make it bigger. And I'm going to put it right here. So here you can see smaller, higher, more crowded, larger, the highest, the longest, the most expensive, and the deepest. Were your answers correct? Yeah, teacher. Yes, teacher. Awesome. Yes. Now, how do you feel? ¿Cómo sintieron el ejercicio? I am happy. Really? <laughs> nice. Yes. <laughs> All good? All correct? All good. Yes. Nice. Okay. Very good. So, eh, este está... Es el primer ejercicio que puse acerca de esto, pero pues, ¿cómo se sienten? ¿Creen que necesitamos hacer más ejercicios? ¿Más ejemplos? Y Chiri, ahí en las primeras respuestas le faltó el Dan. No lleva Dan. Mm, en este sí se puede omitir. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Igual quiero ver. Ah, uh, se está viendo el ejercicio este. Okay, um, ah, because it is question, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Sí, cuando está haciendo la pregunta, no se pone el dan. Ah, uh, okay. Ajá, uh -huh, porque son preguntas. Ah, uh -huh. uh, okay, okay. Igual usted puede dejar la respuesta corta. Ah, este, Canadá is smaller. Ok. Así como corta. O uh -huh. la puede seguir, pero si le sigue, si sí tiene que agregarle el dan. Ah, Canadá is smaller than uh, um, México. I don't know. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí, en algunos casos lo puede omitir, pero en la pregunta sí no, siempre se omite. En la pregunta no se pone el dan. Y en algunos casos sí lo puede poner. Como le digo, es como flexible. Es igual depende que cómo... Es Ajá. igual que that. Ajá, depende cómo usted la formule. Se lo puede poner o lo puede omitir. Uh -huh. Aquí ambas... lo que hace la... Perdón, lo que hace la diferencia es que cuando hace la pregunta y dice smaller, solo pone en coma, ¿verdad? Y menciona las dos opciones. Ajá, sí, también hay que ir viendo la puntuación. Pero pues me alegra que hayan sentido fácil, no tan confuso. De ya era un tema que ya teníamos adelantadito con los comparativos, ¿verdad? Eso ya lo habíamos visto. So, nice. Eh, bueno, ok. So, we're going to stop here. Si tienen algún comentario, sugerencia. Esto, le voy a agregar más slides porque todavía faltan contenidos de la sección 4 y se las voy a estar enviando durante la semana. Eh, remember, ya terminamos eh, para ya irnos a la vacacioncita esta. Cuídense y nos vemos el lunes 9 de agosto. Oh, my God. Ok. 
It's a long vacation. Awesome. Yes, it's a one week vacation and it's starting from today. So it's Friday this weekend and then the other way. Yes, it's kind of long. Y por eso vamos a terminar hasta el 17 de agosto. Okay. Okay, so Qué rápido pasa el tiempo de la, de la fase esta, súper rápido. Yeah, it's really, semanas, really fast. ¿Son tres semanas o cuatro? Son Real. cuatro. Uh -huh. Había sentido como tres nada más. Ajá. Bueno, que una queda, ¿no? Son cortas. Si sí, nos quedan seis clases, seis clases uh -huh. todavía. Uh -huh. okay. ok, so take care and see you. En Moco Beach. More than one week. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, Bye. see you. Take Bye. care. Enjoy your vacation. Yeah. Stay home if preferable. <laughs> Bye. See you Bye. Stay home and not to go to the beach. Eat pupusas. <laughs> eat pupusas. <laughs> yes. Okay, take care. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye.